so in this lecture we are going to study about the functions that get generated automatically by c++ so even if you don't write these functions they are automatically generated by default by c++ so what are they so they are default constructor okay so first one is the default constructor so next it is copy constructor assignment operator and destructor so constructor and destructor of course for initialization and destruction they are needed copy constructor so if uh, an a class is a and i write a object 1 so here copy a uh, here uh, so something like this so i define here it will be a default constructor will be called if i write a object 2 and i give object 1 so this will create a copy constructor if i write a object 3 is equal to object 1 so this will also call the copy constructor and here if i write object 2 is equal to object let's say 3 then what will happen is this will call the assignment operator okay so these are how these things are getting called and hence because these are valid operations so c++ needs to create these functions even if you don't write them explicitly okay so let's see with an example class nothing so this code is a valid c++ code okay there is nothing wrong in this i have nothing inside the class body but it is a valid class so what c++ does is it generates a code class nothing public so constructor this is the default constructor so this is the default constructor and it is generated here then nothing const nothing ampersand other so this is the copy constructor that is called okay so this is the copy constructor so this is what was happening here a object 2 object 1 i passed so here it is copy constructor that will be called and that object 1 is passed here with reference then assignment operator object 2 is equal to object 3 so this is operator overloading so it basically calls object 2 is equal to and operator so object 3 so it is something like called like this so object 3 will be passed in the argument and so this is the case and last thing is destructor okay so these are the things that will be called so this is the default code that will be generated for class nothing okay and let's see if it has some member functions so class a int x int y so if this is the okay function and let's see what will happen okay so here till here this is the class so okay so let's see what we are trying to say there okay so we have something like class a and i have let's say private int x int y okay so these are the things i have in my class so what will be generated now okay so let's see so what it becomes is class a int x int y are still private okay then public and now it creates a default constructor and it will not initialize x and y with zero then comes the copy constructor so a const a ampersand other so i will pass the so this is for something like a object 1 okay and then we have a object 
object one so here this is where this copy constructor will be called this object one will be passed here in the other x will become other dot x y will become other dot y and this will be now the object will be constructed with this constructor okay next is if we have object 3 so let's say i define a object 3 and i make object 3 is equal to object 2 so here this operator assignment operator is called and what happens is again we pass it by reference here object 2 will be passed as a reference and here we check that okay if this not the same object are not getting assigned to each other and then x becomes rhs dot x y becomes rhs dot y and we return the this pointer and again the destructor so this is what is generated automatically by c plus plus code generation okay So this is the C++ code generation and now let's see one thing about we should note about default copy constructor is which can come in interview questions is that okay if we have what happens is if you don't write a constructor at all so it will generate a default copy constructor with no arguments in it but if you define some constructor let's say with one argument two argument or no argument then C++ doesn't generate a default copy constructor default constructor for you okay so it will not generate a default constructor let's see so class A if I define and then what I do I write int main A object 1 is equal to new A this one will call the default constructor okay A object 2 so this will also call the default constructor of class a a object 3 it will also call the copy it will call the constructor default constructor of a and a star ptr4 will is equal to new a hundred it will create hundred objects of class a and these constructors default constructor will be called okay so this way we see that it is working fine here this code and we hadn't given a default constructor here but it will be generated and it will be something like a and we will have nothing here okay but what happens in this one class a private int x public a int a x is equal to a so what happens is i create one i write one constructor for this one with one argument of type int so now if i write a object one is equal to new way it will give me an error okay why because now because i have written one constructor with one argument so if i now try to use this one it calls a constructor with no argument which is not there so this will give an error if i had written a object two is equal to new a3 i am passing one argument so this would have been fine but it will not work for this case so we should remember that when we are defining the constructor any constructor we should consider all the cases we should have the default constructor as well okay so i hope you like this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video among your friends thanks a lot